Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. I got a quick one for you on the webcam Logitech C930E. If you're having problems with your white balance or blown out, you know, white spots in your forehead like I was having, just the light levels all wonky, this is a video for you. First thing I did to fix the problem was, and maybe let, just let me back up for a step. The, C, the Logitech C930E webcam, I've had it for about a year and it's worked no problem. But through the process of, you know, updating your OS on your, your MacBook Pro or whatever computer you're using it on, I think the settings just got mucked up. And so um, I went back to the factory defaults and that didn't solve the problem. Um, so the first thing I did was I updated the firmware from the Logitech website and that made a very minor difference. But then I stumbled onto a program uh, that you see here. So let me show this to you. Let me just close this panel for a second. And it's made by a company called Mac Terrace and it's called Webcam Settings. And what it does, is it gives you a control panel um, to control the light levels on your webcam. You know, I, I can't express it any more simply than that. And so you can download it from the Mac App Store. It's a whopping uh, seven dollars US, seven ninety nine US, something like that. So roughly twelve bucks Canadian, big deal. Uh, well worth it. And they make a few other programs, but really what I was interested in was just sort of. Uh, cleaning up the light levels issue with my C930E. So um, in the top of the screen here, you'll see a little icon once you load the software. And if you click on the icon, it'll say show webcam settings panel, click on that. And so this is what you're gonna see. Um, let me just bring this over here. Um, so we'll start at the top. You can select your FaceTime built-in MacBook Pro webcam if you want. Uh, here you can see I got the 930E selected. Okay, that's great. And then, so in the basic settings, what you're looking at here was, I'll, I'm gonna switch some of these settings so you can see the effect. Uh, manual, it, it's probably darkening things down quite a bit. I found, for whatever reason, Aperture Priority seems to work uh, the best. I just click on Aperture Priority and away we go. Uh, the exposure time, see if I, oh, I gotta select manual for that. but. You can drag that back and forth, go back to aperture priority, uh, select manual, we'll bump the gain here. So I'm, you know, because I'm recording, I can't really see the effect that's, that it's taking here, but I've seen it, you know, just playing with the software. Um, brightness, contrast adjustment, saturation, sharpness. You've got a white balance uh, adjustment down here. You can set it manually by checking the box or you can turn it off and do the white card in front of this, the um, lens and, and set your white balance manually if you want. Once you have all your settings um, preset to the way you want, you can save a profile. Under the advanced panel, you've got a power line frequency anti-flicker adjustment so you can disable it. Um, so far, I think the default is 60 hertz, and that seems to work just fine for my laptop. You've got a backlight compensation, which is really cool because when I'm doing uh, my usual Camtasia recordings or if I'm doing YouTube videos using the camcorder, I will typically have, I've got two lights up in the corners of my screen behind me that I'll light up if I'm trying to blow out the background um, or if I just want to brighten up the, the mottled gray background behind me. So that's a handy feature. And then midway down the panel here, you got an autofocus adjustment. You can zoom, uh, you can pan, you should be able to see this. Two, three, and to tilt function, two, three. One, two, three. So it'll be interesting to, for me to see it when I play it back, <laughs> but I'm sure it's working fine. And then the LED adjustment here. So on the C930E webcam, whenever it's on, um, you have the two white LEDs. So you can turn that on or off, or you can leave it on auto, which I do. I mean, I find it handy. I just want to know that that camera, when it's on, those LEDs are on. So it's a good indicator. And again, you can save the profile down the bottom. Um, Preferences up the top, just some basic things here. You can hide the menu bar icon. So this little guy that's up in the menu bar here, if you want to hide that for whatever reason, uh, read the auto settings from the webcam, you can disable that. You've got some adjustment there. And then write every settings to the web, write every settings to webcam. Geez, I think the, 
The fellow that invented this thing is a Chinese guy, but that's okay. And you've got some time adjustments there. And again, you can save the profile down the bottom. So that's really it for this one. It, you know, just a quick video. If you're having problems with white balance with your webcam or, you know, getting your webcam setting the way that you want, uh, if you're working on a Mac, give this software a try. I found it really helpful. Um, and for 12 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like us, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.